You can't order a poem like you order a taco. Walk up to the counter, say, I'll take two, and expect it to be handed back to you on a shiny plate. Still, I like your spirit. Anyone who says, Here's my address. Write me a poem. Deserves something in reply. So, I'll tell you a secret instead. Poems hide. In the bottoms of our shoes, they are sleeping. They are the shadows drifting across our ceilings the moment before we wake up. What we have to do is live in a way that lets us find them. Once I knew a man who gave his wife two skunks for Valentine's. He couldn't understand why she was crying. I thought they had such beautiful eyes. And he was serious. He was a serious man who lived in a serious way. Nothing was ugly, just because the world said so. He really liked those skunks. So he reinvented them as valentines and they became beautiful. At least to him. And the poems that had been hiding in the eyes of the skunks for centuries crawled out and curled up at his feet. Maybe if we reinvent what our lives give us, we find poems. Check your garage. The odd sock in your drawer. The person you almost like, but not quite. And let me know. We believe Valentine's for Ernest Man should proceed to the next round for three main reasons. Firstly, the poet Naomi uses an array of quite effective poetic devices to enhance the poem and drag us in by the feet kicking and screaming. The poet uses metaphors such as when she says, poems are the shadows drifting across our ceiling. She uses personification when she says, poems hide. In the bottoms of our shoes, they are sleeping. Poems can't hide. Naomi also uses similes to depict her message, such as, you can't order a poem like you order a taco. The second reason this poem should advance to the final four is because of the connotation or the vibrant words this poet uses. For example, beautiful, when she says, I thought they had such beautiful eyes, which portrays how the old man saw the skunks, specifically their eyes, as opposed to his wife's view on them. However, our group is very fond of this poem because of the way it uses its casual free verse structure to tell us a story rather than a message. That message being that everything has hidden beauty. You can't just write a poem and expect it to be meaningful. She tells us that the poem comes from deep in our soul, deep within the skunk's eyes. A poem shouldn't be thrown together, but rather molded and shaped with meaning. Most of all, it was fun. How do we relate? This is a more fun way of poetry, and it's not like the usual Samba type. We can really relate to it, and it adds another dimension. Now when we hear a voice from down the hall, it's really a poem. When the air conditioner blows out air, it's really a blowing out the lyrics. As I skate on my skateboard, the ball bearings whiz around, and it's like it's reciting a poem for me. When my dad lectures me, I imagine he's telling me a poem. So for the sake of making poetry forever fun, we nominate Valentine's for Ernest Man as the only poem worthy of the finals. Valentine's for Ernest Man, or give me death!